Welcome back to Diet Doctor News on YouTube. I'm Dr. Brett Schur, the medical director at dietdoctor.com. And today I want to recap the Metabolic Health Summit 2022 and what a fantastic weekend it was. It was like a whirlwind, getting over 800 people together, researchers and, and clinicians and the participants and the vendors and all these people together sharing ideas, talking about metabolic health, the present and the future, the excitement um, that, that there is for metabolic health because now we're starting to focus so much more on it and the role of low carb ketogenic diets, ketone supplements, and so much more for improving metabolic health and taking the position that it de deserves really at the top of our health consciousness and our health discussion. There was so much to talk about, so many excitements. I want to hit a number of the highlights here. First, I mean, one of my highlights was Dr. Andreas Einfeld, the founder and CEO of Diet Doctor, and his talk at Metabolic Health Summit talking about Diet Doctor's new satiety-based eating approach um, with our satiety calculator and the satiety scores on our menus. And interestingly, this was really well received. The concept of eating better rather than eating less um, was very well received by many. But where it was maybe controversial was when people interpreted it as saying like, this is better than keto, this replaces keto. And that's not actually what we're saying at all at Diet Doctor. But what we do recognize at Diet Doctor, keto is very effective and it is a great intervention, as is moderate low carb for so many people. But not everybody wants to stick to it, can stick to it, and not everybody enjoys it. So we have to acknowledge that there need to be some other alternatives to help other people, right? We don't want to just help people who succeed with keto. Although that is a great intervention that I am a big fan of and you know still believe in and our website is still very much dedicated to keto. But we want to offer other options to people who don't want to do that. And here's where Dr. Einfeld's talk really hit home about this concept of eating better and eating to satiety. So I think that really introduced the topic well, sort of on a broad scale, and we're just going to hear more and more about it as another alternative to reach more people, to, you know, to help more people. Because we have to be honest, just like the low-fat diet, there's not one diet for everybody. That's pretty clear. Same for keto diet. There's not just one diet for everybody. So we got to find out who works with, with which diet. Um, and do a little more individualization and offer options. So I thought that was pretty cool. And of course, I enjoyed my talk very much. You know, I always enjoy talking about LDL and keto diets, but more importantly, cardiovascular risk and how to see cardiovascular risk, including and going beyond LDL and ApoB, and then giving some practical tips on how to address it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but in addition to our talks, we did a ton of interviews between myself and Dr. Ted Naiman. Um, we did, I don't know, maybe like 15 or so interviews um, with some participants and, and speakers. A um, couple of the highlights. Um, one was really cool that, that Ted did with um, Glenn Frommer and his doctor, Dr. Weems. Glenn rode across the entire country to raise awareness for polycystic kidney disease. And he ended his ride at Metabolic Health Summit in Santa Barbara. And we were lucky enough to be able to interview him and really bring attention to polycystic kidney disease and working with Dr. Weems with you know ketogenic diet to help with polycystic kidney disease, which is a really interesting and emerging field. A couple other patient experiences, which were really amazing. Miles Sullivan talking about his use of a ketogenic diet to help with seizures after you know, brain tumor and surgery and just like incredible um, things that he had to go through and his ability to use a ketogenic diet to um, really improve his quality of life and his, it helped with him medically and, and help his health as well. Pretty impressive. And then Dr. Chris Palmer, together with his patient, Kristen Keough, incredible story again about her bipolar disorder, treatment resistant to the point of catatonia and just such severe symptoms. And thank goodness she found Chris and he was able to work with her to start on a ketogenic diet in addition to, you know, as, as an adjuvant therapy to her traditional psychiatric therapy. And she was just able to just change her life, turn her life completely around and get her life back. So it's these type of, of patient experiences that really bring home why we're talking about this, right? Why are we talking about the science? Why are we talking about all the, the exciting new research? Well, because it affects the patients. And those were three really key examples that I I, I thought really hit home. Um, but then of course, there was a lot of talk about the science. Um, Colin Champ talking about the importance of building muscle and not like bodybuilder muscle, right? But building muscle, having lean body mass to improve metabolic health, really drawing the connection there. Um, and we also uh, interviewed Thomas DeLauer who, you know, is also a big proponent of building muscle and lean, lean tissue and, and its metabolic effects. So it was good to see sort of the practical aspects from Tom and then the, the science and practical aspects from Colin Champ. So that was a great little combination. 
Um, we got to talk to Siobhan Huggins um, talking about uh, lipedema and lymphedema and the role of ketogenic diets in that. And she just had a whole symposium, um, which I was fortunate to speak at as well. So that's really an uh, up-and-coming field that looks like it has a lot of potential because that's another area where physicians frequently just said, sorry, not much we can do, you know, good luck. And uh, now this new exciting uh, potential for ketogenic diets um, and improving metabolic health as well. Um, we had we interviewed uh, Dr. Jamie Seaman. Ted got to interview her to talk about women's health specifically because you know women are just not just men differently and men aren't just women differently, right? We we we're all humans. We all share a lot of the same things, but with our hormones and especially with age-related hormonal changes, we have to consider different things um, that may be important. So uh, if for women, I, I recommend you listen to to that interview with Dr. Jamie Seaman. She's got a wealth of knowledge with that. Um, I really enjoyed talking to Tommy Wood. Tommy's just so brilliant. He's he knows so much about so much. And his talk was about sort of exercise and how that affects brain health and, you know, uh, metabolic health and muscles and brain, like all coming together. But the interview was more about lipopolysaccharides because Rhonda Patrick gave the keynote address about lipopolysaccharides. But Tommy does research on lipopolysaccharides. So really interesting to get sort of his take on some of the nuances and some of the important details. Um, so if you're interested in that, I recommend you you go listen to his interview. And then another interesting one with, with uh, Jack Feldman, who's a professor at UCLA. And his was really different because if you look through the list, it's all nutrition and exercise and ketones. And then Jack's uh, session that he led was about breathing. So talking about breathing mechanics and how that helps the body. And um, so that was really interesting, very different from the others and, and some interesting pearls from Jack about that. Then another more practical information from Dr. Allison Hall, who's got a practice out in Florida. Um, and she sort of educates clinicians as well as patients about using ketogenic diets. And she's a I like to say she's a fireball. She's got a lot of energy. She's got a lot of passion and she's so smart and has so much experience that, that that's an interview worth listening to as well. And then of course, two of my favorites of all time, Lucia Aronica from Stamp, professor at Stanford and researcher. I love talking to her any chance I get. She's really big on genetics and epigenetics and she is really the expert on the field and really helps sort of decipher. It can be so confusing when you get these big genetic reports. What do they mean and how to interpret them? She's really good at saying like, these are the ones that are important. These are how you know they fit together rather than just looking at one in isolation. Um, so she's got a, a world of knowledge about that. And then of course the epigenetics, how our environment affects the genetic expression. Um, so she's an expert in that. And then all her research with the Diafitch trial and all the different evaluations she's doing. So she's definitely one to listen to. And then Dr. Dr. Robert Lustig, who is just a, a powerhouse in this field as a clinician, as a researcher, and now as a policy advocate, um, really focusing in on the public policy of sugar, um, added sugar, sugar sweetened beverages, and what we can and should do about those. Um, and his passion always comes through and he's a wonderful interview as well. So that's a quick rundown on, on the interviews that we have that are live on, or, or not live, but are up on our YouTube channel or on Metabolic Health Summit's Facebook page. Um, so please go there to see all these interviews. And like I said, metabolichealthsummit.com, you can still get virtual tickets to see all of the, um, the speakers, including Dr. Andrea Seinfeld's talk and, and my talk as well, and all the others, including a number of our interviewees who gave talks as well. Um, and if you missed it this year, Got to have it on your schedule for next year because it is such a wonderful collection of, of scientists and clinicians and participants and such great discussion and just so much fun. I mean, the, the evening events that they have are second to none um, and really a great way of pulling people together and building this community to talk more about metabolic health. All right, so that's it for this overview, um, but please check out the interviews at our YouTube channel and um, or at Metabolic Health Summit's uh, Facebook page. All right, thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you next time here on Diet Doctor News on YouTube. Thank mm -hmm. you.